Okay, so another update on Windows on Raspberry Pi. I've been trying different configurations. If you've seen my other videos, there's a lot of cabling and a lot of adapters and things like that, and it all takes power from the Pi. Uh, I figured I'd try and do a more minimalist install. Uh, and this is, so Windows is on the single micro SD card. The, this is the HDMI, then we've got the power going in, and it goes through an on-the-go adapter, so this just goes through an ordinary 3-amp charger. This is a Bluetooth USB adapter which I ordered recently, I'll put a link in the description, but it's not ideal. Uh, my, the idea was that this is going to give me sound through a Bluetooth speaker, it's going to give me a controller support, uh, with an Xbox uh, wireless controller and also it was going to give me internet through my phone. Unfortunately, uh, when you restart, if this is the configuration you've got, you can't start Windows because you have no keyboard support. So this seems to start up after Windows uh, and so you can't log in. Uh, so not ideal. I guess I could bypass the login screen, that would do it. Yeah, actually, I'm going to try and bypass the login screen and see if that will do it, because I think it will be quite a good way of doing it. So let's try that. Okay, so I've booted up. Uh, I've had to plug in the keyboard with a USB adapter because I couldn't get to this stage. Uh, but uh, another tip I had was under Device Manager and Raspberry Pi configuration, you have Display Configuration, and I don't know what the native resolution is yet, um, but I'm figuring that will probably be 1080. But uh, I've turned off virtual 1080, uh, and so it boots up in 720, and this seems to give it a slight uh, boost in performance. I've also taken off all my overclock settings. There's nothing added to the config text, so it's running at 1500 uh, to try and use less power, uh, because the power may be also something that's slowing it down. I am looking into getting uh, separate power because the Pi can take power from I think it's either two or three different methods so I'm going to try and get power in a different way um, but uh, I'm looking into that okay so I'm booted up so let's press the Windows and R key and type in net PL whiz and I've got to uncheck users must enter a name and then click OK now I've got to put my password in Okay, so hopefully that's worked. Uh, let's restart that. So I haven't touched anything and Windows is logging in straight away. Hopefully it will pick up the Bluetooth keyboard. Yeah, we've definitely gone straight in. I'll give it a few, few seconds for it to acclimatize itself. I've got a terrible little tiny Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse combo. Uh, which is fine for like uh, TV purposes, but you wouldn't want to use it as an operating system. Yes, and it works. Brilliant. So, I well, that's got me quite a lot further, actually. I was thinking this wasn't going to work. So now, let's get my Bluetooth speaker and turn that on. Battery, 20%. So I switched on Bluetooth on the speaker. Let's get down. So if this looks clumsy, it is because I'm using a tiny, tiny keyboard. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen so you can see what I'm working with. And I haven't got the smallest of hands. So, uh, Bluetooth, Bluetooth's on, uh, add a Bluetooth device. So this is, I'm now working with my super minimal setup. Uh, and as you can see, there is no power issue going on. I'm not overclocked anymore, so Bluetooth. So this is one of my uh, previous builds of Windows on Raspberry Pi. Uh, and this is the one that's solely on the SD card. So I just figured I'd try a minimal installation and some people won't have an SSD or have the means to be able to get it. So I thought I'd go down this route as well. Your device is ready to go, but I've also got this. Don't know what that is. Let's say okay to that. So paired. So let's try. <laughs> okay, well, that's what my computer is called. Catchy, isn't it? Uh, so, if I click on uh, Edge, this is in my previous video, my uh, SSD one. Ah, right, so I'm not connected to the internet yet. So, let's show you how you connect to your phone. Put your phone onto hotspot mode. So, on an iPhone, you just press personal hotspot. Mine is already switched on, and so that is ready to pair. <laughs> So press on the Windows key, press on the settings. So we need to go to network and internet. 
I really do think the 720 helps, and it also helps that I've got it on a, a 43 inch TV uh, running at 720, because none of the icons are too small. Right, so it was change adapter options, and that, oh, this is this, is this little trackpad. So uh, if I right click on this, view Bluetooth network devices, it should come up with my phone. Yeah. So there is my phone, right click, oh there, connect using access point. Connection successful, so now we have internet, we've got mouse and keyboard, uh, but we're still only using the one input. So let's close all that down, so let's click on edge and just type in BBC because it's less to type on my tiny keyboard. Press return. And so this is Bluetooth internet. Uh, so thanks for the tip and I'll try and put it on the screen. Um, but uh, you can see that that's working so I don't need to go any further with that. Now I need to find my Xbox One controller and try and pair that. And I need to go to Bluetooth again. Now hopefully my controller's got enough power in it. So switch it on, pop it into pairing mode, and hit Bluetooth. There we go, that must be it, the one that says input. It's a wireless Xbox controller. Your device is ready to go. So if I now go into done, and because there's a setting for controllers, isn't there, so you can test them. Let's go for gamepad. Set up USB controllers. It comes up behind the window, which is very nice of Windows to do that. So controller status, OK. So if I do properties, you can see that everything's working. All my triggers, all my buttons, everything is working. So that's another step to getting it more simple uh, and taking less power away from the Pi. So yeah, I'm pleased I bought the uh, Bluetooth adapter. So I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.